Sarah, now, more and more we hear about concepts such as global scale interactions and global systems. And you've recently written a book about Earth system science. Now, what is Earth system science? It originates as climate science, really. Um, our understanding of how Earth works started out with our understanding of the oceans and the atmosphere and their dynamic interactions. And that's essentially the physical components of the Earth system. Over time, we've become much more aware that the living components of the Earth system matter in shaping the dynamics. So that's the ecosystems that we have on land and in the oceans. Mm -hmm. So at this stage, what do we know about the Earth system? The biggest challenge that we're facing is the recognition that humans are an important part in the Earth system. Um, we're part of the living component, but we have a disproportionate effect on the way that the planet works now. And so the biggest challenge that we were addressing when we were doing the science behind the book um, was to bring together different bodies of knowledge. And this is a huge integration challenge. Um, climate science is essentially physics, meteorology, um, whereas we understand a lot about the chemistry of the ocean and the atmosphere, and that interacts with uh, physical processes. And also, ecosystems are very much from the field of biology. So just bringing together the expertise from these different areas is a priority. Um, the other thing we need to know if we want to understand how Earth works as a system is to set the context of today's change into the way that it's changed in the past. And so a big priority for us was to understand looking at paleoclimate records and fossil records and things like that, understand something about how Earth has changed in the past as well, because it might tell us something about the possibilities for change in the future. Hmm. And what would you say, what is your key message that you want to convey with this book? We actually had two groups of people in mind when we were writing the book. One is our colleagues, our scientists, who really face new challenges in the kind of research that Earth System Science presents. Um, I've already mentioned the fact that it requires a lot of integration of knowledge, and that, that's a challenge. It means that we have to interact with each other in new ways and to really try to find new ways of bringing our knowledge together in ways that are rigorous and right mm -hmm. for all of us. Um, it also brings a new set of responsibilities because our science is relevant for real-world decision-making. Mm -hmm. And that leads to the second group of people that we had in mind. We wrote the book very much thinking of the policymakers that we've been interacting with over the course of the last decade during the mm -hmm. research programme. And I think one of the big issues that we are constantly faced with is big debates about what's not known mm -hmm. about global change, a huge emphasis on uncertainty, whereas I think our message is that we have a lot of certainty about some things that will happen in the future. Mm. And we need that knowledge to be taken into account in decision-making processes. So, for example, we know that there are interactions between global warming, the water cycle, and vegetation cover on, in forests and in croplands. Mm. And so any decision that tries to treat them as separate issues is really introducing new risks to society. Mm. Thank you.